Welcome everybody, this is your boy Joanna Montalo and we're here with another Grand Theft Auto V PC modding tutorials. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back guys, this video is all about on how to install your single player apartments inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So guys, we are going to bring the online apartments inside our single player. So before we do get straight into it guys, make sure that you download all the requirements that is inside my description below. And even download this mod, I will leave this mod inside my description below as well. Once you guys have completed that, then all you guys gotta do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click, and open file location. As you guys can see, that this is a, a complete clean folder. There's absolutely no mods in here. Not even one mod is inside my folder. So, before we do install the requirements, we must install Open IV. So go to your Open IV and now go to Grand Theft Auto V Windows. Wait for a few seconds, it depends on your PC performance. Once the application is finished, go to Tools, go to ASI Manager, and then ASI Loader, install that, and then install OpenIV.ASI, and then select Yes. And then install open camera and that's all you guys got to do close the application and then close down open IV now the next step we are going to do guys is that we are going to install all the requirements so make sure you guys download the requirements and make sure that all the requirements is the latest version open up your script hook V extract folder head to your bin folder and select dinput 8.dll and scripthookv.dll drag both files inside your GTA V main folder replace the files and then now guys all you gotta do next is open up your scripthookv.net extract folder and now select scripthookv.net.asi.dll and .xml Drag those three files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Now we are going to install our trainers. S open up your trainer V extract folder. Select trainer V.asi and .ini. Drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Now open up your menu extract folder and select menu stuff folder and menu.asi drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder this is optional you can download it if you want to this will be inside my downloads inside my description below download map reveal and open interiors once you guys have downloaded that then all you gotta do is open up your map reveal and open interiors extract folder and there will be three files inside your extract folder. Copy all three files and drag it inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Now, all you guys gotta do next, okay, is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game folder, right click, refresh your folder, right click again, and then create a new folder and name that folder Scripts. Once you guys have completed that, Press enter once and press enter again and you will be redirected inside your scripts folder. Once you guys have completed that, open up your native UI extract folder. And then now select native UI.dll and then now drag that inside your scripts folder. Now guys we have finished installing our requirements. Now we're going to install the mod. Open up your SPA extract folder. 
and then all you guys gotta do is head inside your extract folder and open up your sketch folder now copy everything inside that folder guys and now drag it inside your sketch folder once you guys have completed that all you guys gotta do next okay is exit out of your extract folder then now go back to your game folder and now guys listen very carefully guys okay because there are a few things that we are going to change okay so the other few things that we are going to change guys make sure that you leave everything in here okay open up your single player apartment folder now scroll down to settings.cfg now right click and open with notepad plus plus if you don't have notepad plus plus don't worry i will leave that inside my description below okay now once you guys have installed notepad plus plus edit with notepad plus plus click on it and now you'll be entered in here now what we are going to do in here guys okay is that all you guys got to do okay is that you got to think and find which apartment you want to keep there's like um uh north Con Con conquer there's like bay city ave there's like power streets and there's like there there is like loads and loads of apartments okay guys there's like eclipse towers dream tower um del piro heights and etc so guys just only pick which one you want and leave it on enable so just say for an example i want to keep eclipse tower so this will take long guys okay this is the longest one okay so all you guys got to do is type in disable and then now just keep on going down and down until it's all completed that's guys this is the only part of the tutorial that is really stressing because you got to go to each one and just push disable go to each one and push disable this is the only stressing part guys i'm very sorry but it is stressing now if you want to keep the eclipse tower just skip it okay and now just in there just disable all the rest okay guys but guys i'm gonna pause the video okay because this will take a very long time so i'm gonna pause the video and i'm going to just say uh, speed it up a bit okay guys and now guys we are back so as you guys can see that there that i had to save all of them except for the eclipse tower see guys it is enabled over here so the rest of them have been disabled okay guys so if you guys do experience fps drop then make sure you guys disable all the apartments okay except for the one that you are keeping so all you guys got to do next okay is save your file i have already saved it so i don't need to save it and then now exit out of your notepad and now all you guys got to do next is go to your grand theft audio v main folder right click refresh your folder exit out of your folder guys and then all you guys got to do next is refresh your desktop and then i'll see you guys in the game and welcome back guys so guys as you guys can see i am inside franklin's house and as you guys can see it's a bit glitchy so guys don't worry about that okay all you guys got to do is walk out of the house and then i'll walk back in the house and then now the glitch is fixed it's easy peasy guys okay so guys uh once you guys come out of the house okay then we're gonna go and see the the online apartment so yes guys as you guys can see there's no apartments on the map the only apartment that we can see is this one over here which is the eclipse tower so we're going to go and teleport over there and we're going to go and see if the mod does work and to see if my tutorial is working okay guys so people say inside the chat that when they get closer to the eclipse tower they start dropping fps fast but as you guys can see I'm not dropping any FPS. So all you guys gotta do is come closer to the door over here and press E and then you gotta buy the apartment. I'm gonna buy this one over here. 
Press enter once and then press enter again and you will enter into the apartment. See you guys, and it does work. Um, come in here, everything in here works. You can go on the laptop and etc. You can go on the radio, turn the radio on. And even you can come upstairs guys. And what you guys can do over here, you can come inside here, you can change the clothes. And you can change the outfit to whatever you guys want, okay? It's totally up to you, but I'm just gonna skip all that. Oh no, I don't no 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 I don't want that. Uh okay. I'll just only pick this one over here. There. So yeah, um Yeah guys uh uh, changing your outfit works and the wardrobe works everything in here works uh, you see guys I'm not even dropping any FPS uh, and you can go to sleep if you want to uh, and over here guys the radio over here works uh, does this work yes that yes this works too and now over here guys uh, anything over here no no now guys come to the door over here and now you've got a few things to, to do you can enter your garage you can sell your your apartments and you can change the style of your apartments so there, there's many styles that you guys can have there's this one there's this one purple and there's this one i like this one because it's red because red is my favorite color uh so yeah I like this one of you. Nice, see guys. Now you can go, go into your garage. Just press E when you get to the door, and now into your garage. Now we are in our garage. There's absolutely no cars in here. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to exit out of the garage, and then now uh, I'm going to spawn me a car, any car. Um, spawn me a car. What vehicle shall I spawn? I'm just going to spawn any car. What thing? Just to test it out. Now guys, we are going to test out to see if we can store cars inside the garage. People say they can't store in cars. People say they can't store cars in the garage. Or, or some people say that every time when they saw cars inside the garage, they gain crush. So guys, we're going to go and test this out and see if it works. Press E and we bought this garage over here and press enter. And is it gonna crash? No, see guys? Everything is fixed guys. I have fixed the files, okay guys. So and yes, if you guys wanna test it, okay, uh it does work, okay, and it does save, okay guys. Your car does save, okay, and it does stay in there. So press E to get out of here, guys, okay? So guys. It does work guys okay I do guarantee okay there's nothing wrong with this mod okay and your FPS doesn't drop if you do follow my tutorial okay so guys I hope you guys do like this mod if you guys do then let me know in the comments and if you guys are still stuck with this mod then let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you just to let you guys know if you can hear anything in the background now it's only because that it just started raining in New Zealand where I live so I'm very sorry if you guys can't hear any rattling noise because it's just a heavy rain. So guys, I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Let me know guys, okay, if you guys need any help, okay. I'm here to help you guys, okay, to fix your mods, okay. I am, be, I am more active on my Discord server, guys. So make sure you guys do call me on my Discord server and I will be more than welcome to help you guys out. So with that all said, guys. Um, I hope you guys do enjoy the video. If you guys did, then smash that like button. And if you guys are new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you for watching, guys. Peace, and I'm out.